tea brewing. Mm. What's up guys? I have a confession to make. I am a big, big tea nerd. I love tea. And by tea, of course, I mean loose leaf tea, you know, the good stuff. Not a big fan of the tea bag, to be honest. But what if I want to enjoy some of that loose leaf tea, but I actually don't happen to have any teaware around? My name is Andung and today I'm going to show you nine ways, and I think that's all the ways, to make loose leaf tea at home using only stuff that you probably already have at home. So let's get started and we will begin with the easier, more pragmatic method and then we'll move on to the more fun creative ones. So the first and most basic way is the double cup method. This is dark Taiwanese oolong, not that it matters, this will work with any tea. I'm adding this into my glass and now I will simply pour over hot water. Okay, my tea looks pretty much done and all I have to do now is to pour my tea into the other cup and filter the tea leaves out in the process. By far the easiest way to do this would be with a sift. Ta-da! You could also use something as simple as a slotted spoon or a fork. Mm. Or here's another idea, use a little plate. That works really well too. And that technique with the little plate is actually quite close to the original way tea is brewed in China, which is using a so-called gaiwan. It actually literally means bowl with a lid. And what you do is you steep your tea inside and then you use this tiny lid to essentially use the same technique that we just used. Let's move on to something more fun, creative and challenging, which is the single cup method. So remember that tea bag I was hating on before? I don't like the tea inside, but the bag itself though, hmm. I am going to cut open my tea bag like this. I will not need the tea inside, obviously. So what we have now is a beheaded tea bag, and I think you know where this is going. You want to seal one side by folding it over like this. I'm pouring my tea into the open tea bag. Ooh. And now all you have to do is to fold both ends together and just stabilize your tea bag with a toothpick. Or you could even use a staple. Marvelous. Now this is what I call a tea bag. Okay, what else do we have? How about a coffee filter? Works for coffee, why not for tea? I don't think this needs much explaining. Coffee filter in position, and I'm adding some tea. Ready for brewing. I'm just gonna carefully hold on to the filter so it doesn't slip away, and the rest is easy. That's exactly what I was afraid of, but it's but but we're fine. But we're fine. But but we're but but we're but but we're. This really isn't much different from a tea bag. Hmm. Tea. So that method worked really, really well, but what if you don't have a coffee filter at home? No worries, we just build a filter ourselves. All you're gonna need is a paper towel, just like this, and you fold it over once, turn, fold it over again. There we have this, which already kind of resembles a coffee filter. You can open it up and it will have a pocket here. Placing this in a glass again, adding about a teaspoon of loose leaves. And now all we have to do is pour. What? Okay. Let's see what happened. Looks good. Let's go for the taste test. I'm curious if I can taste any traces of paper doesn't taste like paper at all. Okay, so that simulated coffee filter worked really well, but what if we want to make it reusable? For that, you can just take a sheet of tin foil like this, fold over twice. All this needs is a couple of holes so we can actually turn this thing into a filter. Really simple, just grab a knife and twist a couple of holes inside, like this. Doesn't have to be pretty, just has to work, right? Okay, so that's done. Now let's see if this thing actually works. Same idea, opening one pocket of the filter. This can also double as a hat, actually. All right, adding our tea again. And the moment of truth, better hold on to this. Oh, wow. Wow. Wow, this works really well. Only one thing left to do, I guess. Mm. Mm. Works 
perfectly. Doesn't taste like aluminum. Not that I know what aluminum tastes like, but it doesn't taste like it. So the good thing is, as I mentioned, this filter is actually reusable, technically. I mean, you're probably not gonna keep this around until the next time you're making tea, but if you're like me and you want to infuse this oolong tea multiple times, this will actually do the trick. Nice. All right, guys, so I think I showed you all the ways to make loose leaf tea at home using only stuff that you already have around. If you happen to know any other method, please let me know in the comment section because I think I got this down. I think this is all the ways. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to head over to my channel and subscribe. I love to get nerdy about food, drinks, and I love my food hacks. And if you're into this kind of stuff, you will not regret it. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm gonna go and drink one million cups of tea now and I will see you in the next video. No, seriously, go and check out my channel. The things I will do for a cup of tea.